It really is quite an amazing um, achievement to have a national organisation of any kind. So to be able to warrant a national gallery, I think is a very, very important step in our cultural development. It's very important for our identity as a people. Um, not only is it using artwork that is forward thinking and helping to promote future artwork, but it's preserving our past as well. So really, to be able to have that confidence to move forward and say, look at our local artwork, this is how important it is to have a purpose-built home for this artwork, to give us a sense of pride, um, because it really is something we can be immensely proud of, to have a collection of, of local visual arts and craft that warrants this purpose-built space. What a lot of people don't know about the National Gallery is that only 30% of what you see are the exhibitions. 70% of what we do every month and throughout the year are actually education-based programs. And when we talk about education, we talk about it from the primary school level all the way up to senior citizens. And we feel that's very, very important because while we are here to support and promote and develop our practicing artists, we're very interested in the future artists of tomorrow as well. And giving them the tools and the understanding of what a huge place art plays in our lives. I think what's important um, to, to the community to the local community um, is that you have a place where you can go and you can see contemporary Caymanian art and now kids are just telling me oh you know I'm gonna go away to school study art um, study graphic design fashion design um, editing movie, you know video editing and there's a lot of creativity in Cayman there's a lot of raw creativity and it just needs to be funneled or direct, uh, directed into, into these fields and like I said coming to the National Gallery and seeing Caymanian art um, displayed in some way, it just, it, yeah, it just can't, it, it helps. And if kids can see that, okay, you've got Ray Banker, you've got um, um, Randy Chalette, you've got Ali Banks going overseas to London, having shows in London and New York, there needs to be that the kids can go, okay, this is where you go. You go here, I go to a school, do I go to school, um, gallery, um, shows at gallery, programs at the gallery, um, and then afterward come back and decide where I want to focus on, what medium I want to focus on, things like that. I think the gallery is poised to, to be that, that vehicle. A few of the unique features that the National Gallery is going to be housing all in one place is that's major that it's all going to be under one roof. So we're, we're going to not only have a space for two exhibitions simultaneously, but we're also going to be housing a gift shop, our education um, classrooms, and a, a garden. It's, um, it's very exciting for us and we're just to have it all in one space. So when it, when it comes to fruition, I'm sure we're going to be, you know, crazy excited. So. Art evokes emotion, and every time I look at a piece of art, if some, there are some pieces I look at and go, okay, that's not for me, but maybe that's the emotion that the artist was trying to evoke as well from you. And when you come into, you see their work, you have no idea where it came from, but you're able to see something, learn something about them, and possibly about yourself. It's important because it kind of takes you away from your you know, daily routine and stress. Really, it is art, and for me, most of all, it's therapeutic. The gallery, like I said, is a community building. It's not only just for the collector. You know, yes, we want the collectors to come in. We want to introduce, you know, different art forms to our to our artists. But um, we also want it to be a place that's a welcoming place that you, you you just enjoy coming out to as another attraction on the island. Obviously, the preservation of art and culture is, is paramount importance in the growth and development of any country. So, with with a new national art gallery, it certainly brings a much larger facility. It, it, it's certainly a signal that, that, we are, that our preservation of arts and culture, our appreciation of it is growing to the point that we need to have a much bigger facility. And I think that what, what's going to end up there in the National Art Gallery is going to be something where all of us are going to be proud to go there and see our, our, our own artists on showcase. Not just new artists, young artists nowadays, but the, you know, the works of persons like Miss Lassie and others, I'm sure, that we can look at and see, and see the, the, the art of, of many years gone by and something that we can preserve for, for, for a long time. What we'll be doing, kicking off at Art at Governors on February the 5th, is talking about this big arts give. And what we would really like to do with this project is not only raise some funds, because we do have a gap to raise, as you know, but really to have everyone get involved in some way in a sense of ownership of this building. 
all of these uh, supporters of the gallery have been waiting 10 years for this to happen. So there's a few pretty excited people out there in the community right now and myself and all the staff uh, are very much you know, that excited as well and just hope that we can um, really realise a wonderful project for the whole community.